نعم الحمد لله رب العالمين اسمعوا هيا فائدة الإسلام هذه هي تكون ما قلتم الله تعالى كما كنا نقول البالة اليوم أكملت لكم دينكم وأتممت عليكم نعمتي ورضيت لكم الإسلام دين. الحمد لله رب العالمين all praises due to Allah the Lord of the worlds the Lord of all the creatures هذه هي نتيجة الإسلام this is the outcome this is the result of Islam this is what Islam is كما قال لكم الله تعالى اليوم أكملت لكم دينكم وأتممت عليكم نعمتي ورضيت لكم الإسلام دين. الله has told you that uh, today I have completed for you uh, uh, your deen and uh, I have uh, sealed I have uh, uh, fulfilled وأتممت عليكم نعمتي my, my blessing upon you I have uh, delivered ورضيت my... لكم الإسلام دين. And, and I have been pleased with Islam as a uh, way of life for you. اسمعوا هذه النتيجة حتى الشيطان لا ينتفع منكم إذا طبقتم الشر. Listen to this outcome. This is what happens. That even the shaytan has no hope from you, no benefit from you, uh, if you are properly implementing the sharia. That is the blessing from Allah. Listen, I have spoken about this verse yesterday and the day before yesterday and before before yesterday. Three lessons. وقد تكلمت على المحبة الصادقة فاسمعوها في الدروس الماضية. I talked about the reality of love, so listen to that lecture. حتى تعلموا أنكم لا تحبون أولادكم ولا زوجاتكم ولا أهليكم. So that you may understand that you do not love your families and your wives and your children. لا تحبون. That you don't have. ولا يحبونكم. And they don't have true love for you. لا يحبونكم ولا تحبون. You don't love them and they don't love you. وأنتم أعداء يوم القيامة. And you will be enemies on the day of judgment. كما قال تعالى الأخلاء يوم إذ بعضهم لبعض عدو إلا المتقين. As Allah says that the closest friends on that day will be enemies to one another. إلا المتقين. Except the متقين. من هم المتقون؟ Who are the متقين؟ وحاصل التقوى اجتناب وامتثال في ظاهر وباطن بياتنا. حاصل التقوى اجتناب المنهيات. أولا اجتناب المنهيات. The first, the beginning of taqwa is abandoning all the things that are forbidden. And how many things that are forbidden do you do with your families? And the implementation, the other part of taqwa is implementation of the commands of Allah. And what are you actually doing of the obedience of Allah with your families? Meaning internally and externally Applying the commandments of Allah and staying away, and staying away from his prohibitions. On the outside, uh, uh, implementing the Sharia, and then the inside, sincerely doing so for the sake of Allah. Allah is saying that the uh, the friends, the closest friends, if they are not on the state, <laughs> if they are not on the state of being, then they will be enemies on the day of judgment. <laughs> Who are the muttaqun? Allah says that the, the, the closest friends, they will be enemies to one another on that day, except the muttaqin, as we have described them. <laughs> What will be told to the muttaqeen on the day? They will be far from being enemies. Oh my dear servants, oh my servants, uh, there is no fear. There is no fear upon you today, nor shall you grieve. Nor shall you grieve. Enter into Jannah. You and, your family, you, and your, you and your spouses to be uh, 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 given uh, uh, your reward, meaning in it all that your souls desire, everything that your souls desire, and everything that you ask for. A preparation, a uh, uh, welcoming preparation from the most forgiving and merciful. وما هو بعد هذه الآية ما هي الآية التي بعد هذه الآية؟ and what is the verse after this verse؟ ومن أحسن قولا من من دعا إلى الله؟ 
ومن أحسن لا تجدون هذا إلا بهذا. That what is the verse after this? And who is better of speech than the one who calls to Allah? وعمل صالحا. Meaning that you get this by doing this. ومن أحسن قولا من من دعا إلى الله وعمل صالحا. Who is better than the one who calls to Allah and does righteousness? وقال إنني من المسلمين. And says I am from the Muslims. لا أحد أحسن من ذلك. No one is better than that. معنى ذلك لا أحد أحسن من ذلك. Meaning that no one is better than this one who calls to Allah and does righteousness. The one who, who uh, uh, achieves the status, he is only the one who struggles and works the hardest in order to achieve it. What did Allah say? And the only ones the only ones who attain it, the only ones who are given it, are those who patiently persist, who patiently persist, who are persisting upon patience day and night. And the ones who attain it, and are, it are the the truly lucky ones. Those are the blessed ones. Alhamdulillah, Rabbi Alamin, Ana Khalik al Kainat Kulla, Khalik al Kainat Kulla, Muslihu Ahwal al Alamin Kulla, Al Kaimu Bitarbiyatim. That all praise is due to Allah, Rabb al Alamin, Rabb here al Alamin. The Lord, the Master, the Caretaker, the Provider, the Sustainer, the Creator of all creation. Al-Alamin is everything besides the Lord. So the Lord... The, there's the Lord, there's the Rabb, and then there's the Alameen. There's the Rabb who is the caretaker of those Alameen, their creator, their, the one who is looking after them and created them and taking care of them, providing for them. Response uh, like uh, 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 the one who is 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 has. القائم بأحوالهم خالقهم ورازقهم. نعم the one who is uh, 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 providing for them and sustaining them and 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 uh, uh, and uh, uh, watching them and uh, overseeing them. نعم سمي العالم عالما لأن في كل شيء منه علامة تدل على أنه حاد. The alam was called the alam the universe uh, is the or the, the creation. Is called a alam because everything in it and everything in it is a alama, a, a, a sign that there is a, a capable creator. Mm. Uh, to, to indicate that this universe is finite or created and to indicate that, that, that it has a creator. رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد خاتم النبيين وإمام المرسلين ونصلي نذني بالصلاة أولا ذكر الله بشبره والحمد الثاني الصلاة على النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم من أدب المؤلف أو الكاتب أن يذني بالصلاة على النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم. So after praising Allah subhanahu wa taala, then the etiquette of any author is to make the second thing that they do. And that's Allah and Salaam on the Prophet ﷺ. And this is also the etiquette for the one who is giving a Friday sermon. And the one who is given any lecture uh, to begin by praising Allah first and then sending salawat upon the Prophet ﷺ. That this is what uh, is meant by the verse where Allah says, and we have elevated your mention, meaning that whenever I am mentioned, you are mentioned also. Um, and even in, in the supplication, when you make dua to Allah, to begin also by praising Allah and salam upon the Prophet. هي التشريف وفي معنى هي الرحمة المقرونة بالتعظيم ولا يختلف ذلك. That the meaning of salah 
when it is in reference to Allah giving it to the angels or to the to the to the elite of His creation, it means either it's it's it and it can contains all of these meanings: the honoring and the, the dignifying from Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, or it is um, uh, mercy. مَقْرُونَةٌ بِالتَّعْلِيمِ Mercy paired with glorification or honoring uh, together, uh, and and it, it means all of these things truly. Meaning that it is No doubt Allah, as He said, has sent this salawat, this honor, this That, 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 of course, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you know, it doesn't you know, have this uh, uh, speech that is be, has a beginning or an end. That Allah is constantly, continuously, truly, always elevating the, the status of the Prophet ﷺ. So, so clearly the Prophet ﷺ has been given the highest of honor and dignity and, and status. But Allah is infinite and limitless and Allah can always give more and more and more so when we ask Allah to send salawat upon the Prophet وسلم, we are asking for Allah to increase and increase these salawat upon the Prophet and the reward and the one who truly benefits is the one who is sending those salawat the one who is saying the Prophet وسلم, said that whoever sends upon me one salawat, Allah sends upon him ten. Ibn Atallah mentioned that uh, if uh, Allah sends upon you one of those salawat, that this takes care of your worries in this world and the hereafter. And then you have nine, and you have nine extra. Because Allah is connecting you. Allah is connecting you to His uh, 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 and and connecting to you His 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 mercy and elevation and his, all of His noble attributes. And these are limitless and endless. And the salam also, then the, that's the salah. As far as the salam, this is a, a safety from uh, from uh, from what one does not like. And the Prophet no doubt is safe from everything, nothing will occur to him but, the, but the, there's more increase in this that the asker is asking Allah to increase this upon the Prophet So he says, the author says and the Salah and the Salam on our Master and there is no doubt that the Prophet وسلم, is the master of the first and the last. So he says, Our master, uh, the, 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 uh, the seal of the prophets. And we talked about the seal of the prophets recently. And before you leave and separate, O oh listeners, O oh viewers, know what the seal of the prophets mean. He didn't say the seal of the men of the of the prophethood. Meaning the seal of the prophethood, the seal of the the, 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 the trait of prophethood. That there is no prophet uh, before him that, that, that their, uh, that their uh, message or their book or, or their ruling is, is, remains at the Prophet uh, everything that he came with abrogated Everything it, it, it contradicted.
ولذلك كما قال الامام السكي هم الان كلهم صحابه هم الان كل الانبياء صحابه الان للنبي صلى الله عليه وسلم. الامام السكي said that now after with the coming of the prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم هم الان كلهم اتباع له كلهم اتباع له. All of the other uh, prophets they are followers to him they are companions to him. قال واتضح ذلك من ليله الاسراء. And this is clear from the night of Isra. لماذا ينتظرونه ويصلون خلفه؟ Why were the messengers all waiting? Why were the prophets all waiting to pray behind the prophets? Because they know that now their messages were now abrogated. And he was uh, the one who was taking them. So now Isa alayhi salam by consensus is a companion of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam. لأن في مصطلح العلماء الصحابي من لقيه النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم هو حي حياته الدنيوية وهو قابله. Because the definition of a Sahabi is a person who met the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam. في حياته الدنيوية. While they were alive. دنيوية. While they were alive in their worldly life. والنبي صلى الله عليه وسلم قابله في السماء وقابله عند البيت الحرام. And the Prophet ﷺ encountered Isa ﷺ while he was alive. While both, of them, alive. While both of them were still alive in 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 uh, in the in Jerusalem. So this is why Isa ﷺ, when he uh, the second coming of Isa ﷺ, he will be. Uh, a coming uh, and rule in accordance with the Sharia of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Nusikhat Shariatun. His uh, Sharia was abrogated. ولذلك يلغز الإمام السكي يقول من باتفاق جميع الخلق أفضل من خير الصحابي أبي بكر ومن عمر. So he says. من هو الصحابي؟ By agreement. يلغز الإمام السكي الأصولي الشافعي. إمام السكي the the. الأصولي. The Usuli scholar, the Shafi'i scholar, he says. قل من باتفاق جميع الخلق أفضل من خير الصحابي أبي بكر ومن عمر. He says a riddle that who by the من هو الصحابي of all the scholars who is the who is the companion who is better than Abu Bakr and Umar. من هو هذا؟ يسأل يسأل. لكن أصحاب الديانات الإبراهيمية يريدون أن يكون عيسى الآن ما زال رسولا. But the people who claim Abrahamic faiths, they want to say that, you know, Isa alayhi salam is still a messenger today. As-salamu alaykum ma aklibakum. Wal-ana nusikhat shari'atum ma aklibakum. As-salamu alaykum. How great is your lie? His shari'ah is abrogated. His shari'ah is abrogated. Nusikhat. Wal-ana ya'amalu bi shari'ati Rasulillah s.a.w. He is now implementing and he is following the Sharia of the Prophet ﷺ. Of course, his status of being a messenger is 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 something that will never go away from. Him. But his message is 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 finished. He delivered his message. And it's done. That how could you say that the that the that the Jews and the Christians? Have a ongoing Sharia that is acceptable with Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, while the ones whom the Christians are following, he will he will follow. He is following the 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 Sharia of the Prophet. Tarak Sharia, Tarak Sharia, and he has no choice. He left his Sharia. He has no choice. He has no choice. Intihal li amri Allah Taala. Fulfilling the command of Allah. Ida aturidu an takrabu, fakrabu bi shayin yumkin an yuqala. So if you want to lie, at least lie, make up a lie that's believable. Lie with something that is possible. We are, you know, way ahead of you in these matters. Whether you like it or not. So taste, and and I will not, we will not increase you except in punishment. I swear by Allah. I will not. Uh, I will not increase you except in tasting of punishment. You're only hearing the, the, the verses and the hadith from the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. So if you persist, you would be from those. Who, uh, as Allah, 
that those who oppose the messenger after the guidance had become clarified for him and follows other than the way of the believers we will leave him to that we will leave him to that which he turned away towards and we will uh, 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 we will, we will, we will uh, uh, roast him in the fire you have nowhere to turn uh, and no other option but the there is no other option there is nowhere to turn but uh, uh, once you have the, the statements of the book of Allah and the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa I'm not even telling you you know my shaykh said uh, you know so and so such and such shaykh my Shaykh, may Allah have mercy on him. We need to make dua for him. And I love him. And that's it. That's his right. He is, not a, he is not a scale of righteousness for you. He's not a scale of uh, morality of what is right and wrong for you. Your scale of morality is the statements of Allah and His Messenger. And the consensus of this Ummah of Muslims. You have no option. And the Imam, and he continues, and the Imam of the Messengers. What does the Imam mean? What does Imam mean? Is the Imam a follower or a leader? Is he one who takes part or people take part with him? Is he leading or is he being led? Is he taking other people's opinions and where he should wear it when he should continue in the prayer? Or There's different people saying, oh no, no, go on now, stand up, no, or is the Imam leading and no one else has <laughs> So I don't understand what these people are saying. That they say, they, they praise the Prophet Sallallahu He is the messenger of the messengers. He is the, the prophet of the messengers. He is the leader of the messengers and so on. And then they say that, oh no, no, well the other messengers... We can follow what they're saying also. Now the other ways are still valid. This is contradictory. A leader who is also being led. This is foolishness. This is... This is the, the speech of fools. And Allah said, do not give the fools the, the irresponsible ones, the ones who are still, uh, you know, immature. Don't give them their wealth. Don't, don't give them your wealth. Uh, their own wealth until they're ready. Uh, so how do you give them? If you can't give them your wealth, then how do you give them your, your, your lives and yourselves? You're giving them your deen. How could you give them your deen? How could you make them your leaders? Allah said, do not give the irresponsible ones, the immature ones, your wealth. Do you, lo do you love your wealth more than your deen? They do not understand the understanding. <coughs> the lowest thing of stature and status and respect and dignity today is the status of, of knowledge. And deen. That now, when it comes to deen, it's the most accessible thing. You can follow anyone. Everybody is, is qualified. Everybody is qualified. You can pray behind anyone. You can, everyone has a, a, an opinion that is accepted and valued and, and has to be heard and, and, and partnership and acceptance. But as far as the dunya, no, not everybody has. 
the doctor the doctor is only qualified to be a doctor and, 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 and independent <laughs> nobody can can speak about uh, the matters of medicine uh, 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 truly except the doctor and the lawyer he's the one who speaks about the law but the uh, a true scholar and the knowledgeable scholar everyone's opinion if it's contradictory to theirs has the right to all the, all the kittens and little bunny rabbits are playing they're playing over their heads and, and opposing them and looking at them and looking at that scholar with with uh, disrespect and with uh, ridicule and, and what's he saying he's saying uh, what he's saying is just not right. it's not right but the doctor he only, uh, speaks he's only oh, everything he speaks as if it's like a verse from the Quran or Mutawat al Hadith it's he could not contradict it this is the reality don't lie about Allah and his messenger واحد يستدل بكتاب الله وسنة النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم وقاول العلماء يقول في ذلك بحث في ذلك بحث نحتاج أن نتأكد من هذا. A person is telling you this is what Allah said this is what the messenger said this is what the. ماذا تكلم عليه العلماء؟ They say oh no no we need to research deeper and look into it and evaluate and. هذا غير مسلم. Firm we can't we can't really accept. هذا غير مسلم هذا غير هذا غير مسلم في خلاف بين العلماء. Oh, there's a disagreement amongst the scholars. There's a difference of opinion. Where are the scholars? Show me your scholars. 